So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'll showcase to you guys 5 items you need to consider using with the Rivers of Blood. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. So the Rivers of Blood Katana is probably the best weapon in the game right now, it's definitely up there either way. It is absolutely incredible, since the 1.03 patch as well with them fixing the arcane scaling. This thing is on another level, it seriously is. And today guys, I bring you 5 items you should consider using with this Rivers of Blood Katana. Okay, so we're going to start with the talismans. So the first one we want to check out guys and you want to get is the Rudian Amber Medallion Plus 2. What this does guys is give you, well it vastly raises maximum stamina. Now we all know using the uh, Rivers of Blood special attack, it does use stamina as well as the FP points. But stamina, I mean, if you drain out on stamina, guys, you're going to have, uh, well, you ain't going to be able to use the attacks as often as you want to, as frequent as you want to. This, guys, gives you extra stamina. And it gives you quite a lot of extra stamina, actually. It gives you a plus 21, which is actually quite a lot when you consider, look how high my stamina bar is. Um, so, yeah, and I've only got, what's that there? 167 of a stat score. So it's quite a chunk of stamina, guys. And it's a good few attacks with this weapon's special ability. There's no two which ways about it. So yes, I would consider getting the Rudian Amber Medallion. Now this actual medallion, you get via the Halig Tree area. More specifically, come to the Halig Tree Town Plaza at Grace Point, where I'm at on the screen right here, guys, and follow the short route to grab this thing. Now, if you don't know your way around the Halig Tree area, or you ain't got here yet, I'll link two guides in the video description, which will help you out a ton in getting here relatively quickly, guys, and grabbing this medallion super, super easy. Okay, so the next uh, talisman we want to be using here, guys, is the Carrion Filigreed Crest. This lowers FP consumed by skills. This mod, I think it like halves it. I'm not sure if it's actual half. Uh, we'll check it out right here. You'll see. So if I do an attack right now, you can see how much it's taking off. It's not too much, to be honest. There's three attacks and we're down to, what's that? I don't even know. But if I take this off, guys, you'll see that drastically changes. And it, it does work. It gives you way more attacks with this thing. So one attack. There you go. It's almost one attack. Two attack. It's almost like 50% reduction in FP use. That's absolutely crazy. So yes, it's a must if you're going to be spamming. You're going to be spamming out those abilities. Now, where have you gone? Where's my little medallion gone? There she is. Okay, so this one right here is actually... Well, there's, there's two ways you can obtain this. The... The, the way I got it, and the easy way, and I got it early on, I purchased this from uh, EG, uh, who is the uh, weaponsmithing guy on the west side of the map, just in this uh, location right here, guys. Let me pull up my map. Um, he is literally right there. He's sitting right there. And you can see him right there, War Counselor EG. That's the guy. Now, I purchased mine from him after speaking to Blade real early on, after whistling him down off a roof, I spoke to him, then I went here and it was there for sale. Now, other people have said that you get this from Aegis Bell Bearing after he dies, after you tell him that Blade is dead. That happens after Rani's quest, which starts up here. So Rani's quest you uh, complete and Blade, when you go back here, he's sitting outside of the, the rise and he tries to attack you. If you kill him, you obviously get all these amazing looking armor. But then if you go down to this EG here and you tell him about Blade's death, he perishes. And you get his uh, Balbarian, I think, after you go back there. You take that 2D Twin Maiden Husks in the round table and you can buy this talisman. Like I said, that isn't how it worked for me. I purchased mine after, off him early on in the game after first meeting uh, Blade. So do you know whistling and jump down off a thing? It was so weird. I got the footage. But yeah, it was super, super early on. It's crazy. But yeah, the talisman, 100% are great. It's not just for this as well. It's great for any like sorcery build, uh, mage build. It's amazing. The next one, guys, we have is the Lord of Bloods 
Exaltation. Bloodlust in vicinity increases attack power. So if you're attacking people, guys, if you're being attacked, this thing increases the power of this katana. It just makes it even better, which is why would. But yes, why not? Why not grab this thing? It's just, the, it's probably the best talisman I've got. It's the one here, which I'd say is a 100% must uh, for using with the Rivers of the Blood Katana. Now, how this is got is relatively quite easy. There is a boss you have to beat, uh, but it's not hard whatsoever. Now, if you come to the capital and go down a drain, I actually got this after the capital was destroyed because I'd already beat uh, Malakith. And you know what happens to the capital? Little well, the uh, tree goes on fire, the capital gets turned to ashes. Uh, but I actually thought I couldn't get it, but you can. And I've actually got a video guide on this down below in the video description. Uh, but you have to run through the, the sewers here. Uh, you end up running around in circles. You activate a, a lever. You open up the bus door. Go in there, kill the bus, and you get this thing. Now, the full guide will be linked down below. It's probably too long to post here. But it's a good four minutes of a mage you have to run around. But yes, this is a definite, guys, for any uh, bloodlust build, uh, build. There's no two which ways about it. This is an absolute must. And the final talisman I'm using is a taker's cameo. Now this restores HP upon defeating the enemies. Now with a weapon like this, I mean, this is used for killing bosses, but it's also used for killing hordes of enemies too. And it's great at that. And that's more so what this is for here, this talisman. I mean, it's going to be no good against uh, bosses, but there is another talisman you can get, which, where is it? It is this one here, the Godskin Swaddling Cloth. This one, successful attacks, restore HP, but yeah. I mean, I've tried that. It doesn't work as efficient as you may think it is. I think this one's better. You take his cameo. So this is actually rewarded to you by Tanif at Volcano Manor. After completing the third letter quest, we have to go out and hunt the invaders. Um, yeah, after you return to her, she gives you this taker's cameo. It is really as simple as that. Now, the other thing I would 100% recommend is the White Mask and War Surgeon armor set. As what's great about this actual armor set or the white mask helmet itself i'm not sure you have to wear the entire set but hey i like to have like a the complete set i like to match you know what i'm saying but yeah as you can see here guys the lord of blood's curse enlivens the wearer when bloodletting occurs slightly raises attack power when there is blood loss nearby so you even get extra damage wearing this and that's why i think it's important to well the rivers of blood and to be honest any other bleed weapon for that matter now this is actually rewarded to you upon doing the white face very uh quest line this is one that starts more or less at the beginning of the game as you spawn into the first step he's on your left hand side it's that same quest line where he gives you the pure blood knights medal which actually uh teleports you over to the morgwin uh dynasty area which is this down here now the actual quest continues here but i messed it up people and this is something i recommend you don't do if you haven't already because if you don't finish this quest line before you kill morg who's located here who a lot of us have cheese for them three four hundred k runes you can't if you've already killed him you can't come back and do but you can do the quest line guys you get a weapon which is this but you can't get the armor suit so you just can't get the armor can't get the armor set now you get that uh, but what happens is, once you actually invade him, Whiteface Varu, uh, and kill him, he's on the floor, you speak to him, and, and then you get this. But the quest, as far as I know, stops right there because you've already killed Morg. If you haven't killed Morg, there's a few set places you can go and you'll be invaded. And for each invader you kill, you'll get a certain piece, I believe, of the armor set. Or on the third invader you kill, you'll get the full set. But I'll link a guide down below anyway for those that haven't got this already um, and haven't killed Morg. So yes, hopefully that helps you out. Like I said, I messed up. I actually got this duped for me by a pal. Uh, so massive credit to him. His name is Idle Smoke uh, from my Discord, Idle Smokey. Uh, so I appreciate the hookup, I really do. He also hooked me up with the uh, Rivers of Blood because I actually made a massive mistake in this as well. Now if you don't know guys and you're still not too far into the game, if you're not up to the mountain tops of the giants yet, or you are up here but you haven't progressed and you haven't killed the uh, fire giant, don't do this. Do not kill the fire giants before you go to this church right here, the church of repose, be invaded by a guy called the, I think it's the bloody finger or Kina. He invades you here. You need to kill him. He gives you the rivers of blood katana. 
if you kill the fire giant first you can't get invaded you'll go back here and you won't be invaded that's where i messed up so don't do that so yes you will get this incredible weapon right here now if you've got another katana um i'd say probably this one which i'll link a guide in the video description this one is easily obtainable from a cave up here where are we i think it is it's relatively near the start of the game to be honest it's, i think it's like here maybe i think it, yeah, it's actually here could be mistaken but either way guys i confirmed that with a video on screen now of actually me running to this cave running down and grabbing it but yeah the katana is actually the one the samurai start with but it's a great great weapon if you level it up and it's also got that bloodlust build up so you dual wield the uh rivers of blood with this unbelievable and you can see it in action here guys it's just using two katanas it's just brutal it really is now i want to say again a massive shout out to idol smokey because he actually gave me two of the of the rivers of blood so i'm actually lucky enough to be able to rock two of these which is just unbelievable and like i said guys this is by far right now the best weapon in this game in my opinion anyway there's probably a couple out there that people ain't explored properly yet but this for me is a next level and there we have it guys those are the well it's actually six items there if you include the uh the dual katana but yeah either way it doesn't really matter those guys are the items i recommend you do checking out if you do enjoy indeed love the and like loot but yeah guys those are the actual weapons i do recommend you checking out if you enjoy using the rivers of blood and you're looking for a few inspirations in what you can add to your build and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one